please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get all my latest updates hello everyone this is Shinny from the cyber Care youtube channel and in this video i'm going to show you how to set up and use a linux machine in amazon aws cloud in the previous video i've shown you how to create an amazon aws account and we haven't seen it links will be in the description please go through and also i have also prepared a video on how to create and use a windows machine please go with that also to make a you know clear understanding of what i'm doing it here okay so here what we do is first we'll go to the uh, main screen actually and then under compute we select ec2 and it will load in a minute like this so right now there are no instances running so we click on launch instance and then let me select free tier so that i don't want to lose or i don't want to pay any money so i'm going to select amazon linux because that's quick and easy method so i'm going to select the one which is under free tier actually the same thing which i have selected for the previous videos as well so once you select that click on review and launch and then launch there are no key pairs right now available it's very easy to create one so click on create a new key pair from the list and then give a name let's say like key and then click on download key pair now click on launch instances so this is going to take some time actually so what we do is uh, scroll down and click on view instances so we can see the status of it right now the status checks are initializing uh, this will run actually and uh, you just have to wait for a few more minutes after launching also because it's going to perform status checks and check out whether everything is good or not so meanwhile let's do some additional stuff this PM key actually we are right now trying to connect to a Linux machine and for that we're going to use SSH as Windows doesn't have any SSH clients pre-installed we're going to have to install an SSH client that is famous one uh, putty actually so you can just go to putty.org the link also I'll keep in the description just go there and download your putty and install it I hope you know how to install a, a exe file in your PC so I'm not showing that so once it is installed click on the windows button and then search for uh, putty gen okay so putty gen actually so open that because the pm file will not be valid for the li uh, linux version so we need to convert that into public private key so what we do is open putty gen and then here select rsa okay select rsa and click on load and under this list actually select all files so that you can see your key.pm file if you are not selecting this you will not be able to see it go to the downloads location wherever you have downloaded select all files and select the key.pm so it will create a key okay so what you do is click on save private key and then click on yes give a name let's say like key okay any key you can just give the same name why problems so click on key and you can see that putty private key files click on save now it is saved that's all now come back here and check out whether it is okay now it is running but still the status checks are going on so you can wait or you can you know uh, you can start connecting to it how do you connect it's very simple you have installed putty right so open putty there you need to do some things for example like here under host name or IP address come here and you can see that public DNS under description you can see public DNS or in the same list you can see the public DNS here so you need to paste that public DNS name in the host uh, field so copy that public DNS under description section you select it for example if you are not selecting you can't see it also select it and then you copy that host name and then paste it in the box okay then under connection if you see that under connection there is SSH so expand that by clicking on the plus icon then select auth don't expand this don't click on this just select auth there you can see that private key for the authentication so click on browse and select the ppk file you have generated click on browse and there it is my ppk file select it and then you click on open okay so if you click on open it's gonna make a, this kind of thing actually say yes and then login as this window will be opening and login as you give username ec2 hyphen user okay ec2 minus user there is no password for this just give ec2 minus user then you will be getting your linux machine access 
see so if you just check out now uh, I have config you can see all the IP address whatever you got and uh, you can just try updating it yum update or as it is a regular user sudo yum update and then it will start updating yes so like that you can update and you can you know even go with some other uh, you know functionalities if you don't know how to use a linux i'll be keeping a link in the description where you can learn linux basics so go with that and in the coming videos i'm going to show you how to start a web server in windows and linux machines so for them this is a starting actually so that's all for this video uh, i guess yeah statistics were completed your machine is perfectly all right and uh, if you have any plans with you know doing with this machines you can do that uh, if you like this video you may also like my other videos please check them out in the youtube.com slash cybercare and that's all for this video have a nice day my linux machine is up to date and ready to use okay go ahead and uh, do it for yourselves and um, have fun